All right, this quick video is for Marcus Wilder, who has a question about creating single angle characters for Crazy Talk Animator 2. Uh, basically, you can create single uh, angle characters um, uh, very easily. Uh, you don't have to create a full rig. In this case, I'm using the, uh, the, the uh, generic template that's provided by Reillusion. Um, and you were asking about the 270 angle, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete all these other angles to show you that I'm only gonna leave the 270 angle active. So in your case, when you create your characters, if you only need this one angle, then basically all you have to worry about is creating the angle that you need and rigging the pivot points and everything else uh, the way that you need it done. You have to make sure it's configured the, the way that the uh, white um, paper uh, demonstrates. So uh, if you're not familiar with that, you can download the white paper from the Reillusion uh, dashboard from where uh, you download your product from. I'm gonna launch the properties panel really quick so you can see how this uh, character is configured. See the hair is already set up to be the front hair. You can see here on the, in the properties panel. And the associated pivot is there. Same thing with the left arm and the left arm pivot and so on. So once the angle that you want to use is configured, you do this in Flash and uh, you just set it up just the way that you want it and uh, export it to an SWF file. I usually press Control, Alt, uh, Shift and uh, S and this will allow you to export the SWF file. So I'm just going to call it 270 because that's just that one angle character. So now that we've created this one angle template, we're going to drop in any character inside of Crazy Talk. Actually, you can use any character except for this reference guy. This reference guy is missing several key sprites, so I don't recommend you using him. So you can use any one of these uh, other characters as your base. So once you have a character in here, you go to the character composer and you import the SWF file. Here's my 270. I'm going to keep everything the way I set it up in Flash. And of course when you import it, it's going to be all out of whack. Uh, that's because we don't have a front angle. We don't have a 45 degree angle. But if we switch to the 270, you should see where is it? that our sprites are exactly where they need to be. We can do the uh, magic wand button here, the uh, confirm multi-angle settings option, and this will rearrange everything back into its proper uh, layering. And you can do additional um, stuff with the uh, what do you call them, the joint masks and stuff, but I usually wait till afterwards to set those up. So at this point, the angle of the character is set up properly on that angle, but you know the other angles are still missing. So if you were to use this character as is, of course, when you try to apply a motion to it, you're gonna have some weird results because of the sprite switching is trying to switch to the adjacent sprites uh, as necessary. So what we do here is we go to the modify option convert this to a multi-angle character but before you do that you gotta make sure you are in the proper angle the one that has all the proper sprites so then we click on it and all of these sprites are gonna be copied into the other angles so this is gonna stabilize the character so as we switch to the different angles every other angle is using the same exact sprites so it's pretty much gonna look the same and uh, we know that the, the right angle is the 270 in this case. So that's going to be the only angle that, that we're going to use this character for. But he has all the sprites in there. So now we can calibrate it and you can see that the character works just fine. As long as we stay on this angle, we should have a pretty usable character. So now we go back to our stage and, um, and this is perfectly fine. This is because of the, you know, the way the character set up. But you know, you can actually add a lot of the, the pre-rig motions and stuff. Here's the idle, you can see, angry. See, it's, it's, it's working fine. Uh, you, you, you then just come, come in here and uh, just 
you know, tweak your your uh, layering options as needed. And you can continue to work with your character. See that the restriction is that because it is a single angle character, you are stuck animating at just that one plane. But when when you need to tweak some of the stuff, like uh, the layering and stuff, you know, it's not that hard. You just kind of go and adjust it as needed. And there you go. Um, stuff works perfectly fine. Let me see here. Uh, let's do some moving. Just the walk mail. And I think it's because actually right now this character's pointing forward. So you just gotta make sure you, something I should have checked before, make sure you switch him over to the 270. That way you avoid issues. 270, as long as he's on the 270 angle, your motions will work fine. So right now he's at the 270 angle and uh, here's a walk comic, sneaky. So you can still work with single angle characters. It's really not that bad. Uh, sometimes you really only need a specific angle and there's no point in creating an entire character um, when it's not necessary. Okay, there you go. Hopefully that gives you some ideas. Let me know if you have any other questions.